Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the double linked wagon. Today we will discuss about how you can find the volume of the any of the solid regions as a double linked wagon. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Tapper Institute, India. So we all know that by using the single linked wagon, you can find the area under the curve like of this integration from the a to b of the function f of x, you will get the area under the curve. This is only for the 2D picture. But what will happen if you consider about the 3D diagram then like of this. Then once you will integrate them of, of the function f of x y over the x y then you will get the volume under the surface. Or in more clear you can see this is the 3D pictures are here which is representing in terms of the x y plane. And if you consider any of the areas that is a strip of the area that is a d of a then you can consider volume as nothing but double integration. Make sure that I have represented this A over the plane x, y. That's why I have function writing here in terms of the x, y. But if you consider this is my strip, this is say strip, say D of A, then which is representing the form of the y and z, then this volume is nothing but you have to write the function in terms of y, z and D of A. So that's particularly depending upon you in which uh, in which plane you want to take about the strip. If you consider here as a strip which is in the form of the x and z then your volume will be nothing but my d of a if this is my d of a. By using this understanding of this double integral we can see the certain examples like of this if this again as all of know that this the uh, this is this outside equation is nothing but paraboloid this inside portion is my cylinder whose base is my circle with center is my 1 comma 0 and so on. Another example is if you consider about here this is nothing but my ellipse outside is my uh, sorry it's a, it's a sphere this is a cylinder and the base is my circle. How you can find the volume of the solid in a very simple manner that we will cover in this lecture. So what is that? How you can find the volume of the region? So firstly you have to take on about the strip that is the D of A. As I discussed that either you can consider over the x, y then you have to represent here in terms of the y, x and y. If you consider here then you have to represent this function in terms of the y and z and so on. Then your target is to convert this portion into the 2D. This is a 3D picture you have to convert into the 2D like of this. Once you are writing this area in terms of the x, y, then your volume or a, this is say my volume, then this volume can be represented as dx, dy or you can represent as a dy, dx. Why dy and dx? Because my strip is representing in the, in the coordinates plane of the x and y. Or if you consider here as I discussed, then this volume is nothing but my, uh, what is that? This is dy, dz and here is a function of the x. What is the x? Is? x is nothing but my function of the y z like of this if I say function of the x and y is representing the terms of the z is there. So that's depending upon you whether you want to write dx dy or dy dx that is totally depending upon you. So the purpose is that you have to firstly transform this 3D picture into the 2D as according to this this is the x y plane as I mentioned again and again if you consider as the area strip over the x y then you have to write in the x y form. And then you can write this as a required volume is over the dy dx or dx dy. So let's discuss these 7 to 8 examples are there so that you can easily understand this graph. So you have to find the volume of the prism whose base in the xy plane. So it is mentioned that you have to think you have to convert this 2d picture into the xy. So what is that your area will be either dy dx or dx dy. So you have to firstly represent the graph of this. What is the graph of the y is equal to x? This is the graph of the y is equal to x. What is that? This is a y, x is equal to 1. This is a line of the here. So which is bounded by the x-axis, which is bounded by the x-axis, which is bounded by the lines. What is the common portion about that? This is my common portion. Now what you can do is you have to take on the limits over this. So what is the value of the z? This is the value of the z is given to you because this is a function of x and y. Now you have to take on the limits. If you write this as a dy, so you have to take on firstly on the y-axis, take the strip on the y-axis, what is the value of the y at this point 0, what is the value of the y at this point, this is my x, so it's my 0 to x. Remember that the outside limits are always be the minimum and the maximum. So this is my x, so what is the minimum value of the x in this shaded portion, this is my minimum. What is the max value of the x is at this point, this is 1, so the limits are my 0 to 1. So this is over this. If you look about this here, 
if you consider about this what is what you can do that you have to firstly take on over the x it means you have to firstly take on over the x axis strip what is the value of the x at this point value of the x is nothing but my y value of the x is at my 1 so the limits are from y to 1 outside limits are always be the minimum and the maximum so limit minimum and the maximum value of the y what is the minimum value of the y is 0 maximum value of the y is corresponding to this this is my 1 so this is from my 0 to 1 now you can solve either of part you will get the same answers so look at that if you firstly solve this this is with respect to y so firstly you have to take on this with respect to y so you can see this is a 3 is a constant so it's a 3y x is constant with respect to y so it's xy this is my y square y now you can take them so now you can integrate with respect to x again you will get this as my cubic units is my required answer this is when you integrate this with respect to dy dx on the other hand if you want to take on over the dx dy like of this now limits are my here because as i discussed this is y this is one and so on. now you have to integrate this firstly with respect to x so this part will be my 3x this part will be my x square by 2 y is my constant so it is my x y now you can take upper minus lower you will get this and then so on you will see the both have the same answer look at the another one is there you have to find the volume of the region bounded by here and in the xy plane so again it is given that this is in the xy plane so what you can do you have to firstly draw the graph of this so let's say uh, y is equal to x this is the line of the y is equal to x x is equal to 0 and x plus y is equal to 1 x plus y is, so this is the line of the x plus y is equal to 2 this is the line of the x is equal to 0 and this is the line of the y is equal to x so what is the common portion about that so you have to think about which is enclosed by these three lines so you can see only this is the portion which is enclosed by the three lines this is not the portion because in this portion x is equal to 0 is not included so this is my shaded portion so once you will consider this shaded portion then what is your integration x is z is nothing but my here so if i consider the dy dx I can take on dy so you have to take on the limits over the y-axis what is the value of the y at here this is my x value of the y at here is 2 minus uh, what is the value of the y here 2 minus x so the limits are from x to 2 minus x now what is the limit of the x-axis so what is the minimum values here my 0 maximum value is 2 but this portion is not in the feasible region so you have to take on on these three portions are there so this value is my 1 if you consider this as a point of intersection this is nothing but 1 comma 1 so the minimum value is my 0 maximum value is my 1 so these are the limits of this make sure that 2 is not the upper limit because 2 is not in the lies in the shaded portion so you can see 0 to 1 x to here now you can integrate this with respect to y so what is that x square is nothing but my x square y and this is my here you can integrate them by this is upper minus lower and now you can again integrate by parts or you can simply integrate them this is here and so on you will get this required answer as 4 by 3 so make sure that this is the shaded portion of this curve look about that again it is given that in the xy plane so you have to draw over the xy plane you have to draw the graph of the y is equal to 2 minus x square this one you have to draw the line of the y is equal to x this is the line of the y is equal to x and these are the coordinate points now you have to find the reason enclosed by the parabola and the lines parabola and the line so this is the portion with line and the parabola now you have to integrate them so what is the value of the z is so value of the z is nothing but my x square you have to take on the limits over the dy so you have to take on either on this side or you can take on this side if limits both are same then you can write in the single otherwise you have to take on as a plus sign what is the value of the y is x value of the y is 2 minus x square here is x value of the is now you can see both the limits are same you can write like this one if the limits are different then you can write this as first part for this and then second part for it but in this case they are same what is the x what is the minimum value of the x is this is the minimum value of the x corresponding to minus of 2 what is the maximum value of this is my here corresponding to 1 so the limits are my minus 2 to plus 
now you can integrate them this is that with respect to the x so what is that this is x is outside constant so it is a y over that 2 minus x square 2x so what is that this is a 2 minus x square minus of x now you can see this is my 2x cube by 3 and so on so after substituting the upper element this is nothing but my required cubic unit is the answer look at the another one is there you have to find the volume of the solid in the first octant bounded by the cylinder this and the plane so from here you can find the value of this that is nothing but 3 minus y and this is my so look at that you have to find the volume over this first octant so it means this is my shaded portion you have to draw the shaded portion now you have to take on the limits of this so y is nothing but my z is nothing but my 3 minus y dy dx or dx dy so if you take in dy taken that strip over the y axis value of y is 0 value of dy is my 4 minus x plus 4 minus x square so it's from 0 to 4 minus x square what is the minimum and maximum limits are there this is 0 max value is my plus of 2 so the limits are from my 0 to 2 now you can integrate them over the simple you will get this as my 3y this is 3 this is y square by 3 upper minus lower all of you know that how you can integrate a square minus x square this is nothing but my x a square minus x square by 2 plus a square by 2 sine inverse of x by a are there so you can simply do like it. substitute the upper and minus you will get this is the my required cubic unit is the answer Again, you can see, find the volume of the cylinder in the first octant bounded by the coordinate planes. All of you know that what is the coordinate planes are there. X is 0, Y is 0, Z is 0. And X is equal to 3. So, firstly, you have to draw the graph of the X is equal to 3. Now, this is the parabola are there. But it is given that it is in the coordinate plane. So, X is 0, Y is 0, Z is 0. So, you can see we need the limits of the Y. So, it means when I take Z is 0, what is the maximum value of the y so you can see here so y is in my plus minus 2 but we need only on the first octant it means y is only plus of 2 so we can draw the graph of the y is equal to plus 2 so now you have to bound it by the coordinate this is my x is 0 this is my y is equal to 0 this is x is equal to 3 this is my so what is the coordinates are there so you can see this is my shaded portion now you can substitute the limits z is nothing 4 minus y square what is the limit of the y so you can take on the strip over here y is 0 y is 2 so from 0 to 2 what is our x what is the minimum value of the x is my 0 max value is my 3 so from 0 to 3 so now you can integrate them simply it's a 4y is a y is cube by 3 and so on you will get the required cubic unit is the right answer Look at the last example are there so again it is given that you have to mention in the x y plane so firstly you have to draw the graph of the y is 4 minus x square y is equal to 3x so this is the line of the y is equal to 3x you can easily find this as the point of the intersection between these two curves you can solve them you will get here which is bounded by the parabola this is my parabola and the line so which is the portion is that this is my here since it is not given that it is the first coordinate so you have to shade it below the portion also now z what is the value of the z is there this is nothing but my x plus 4 so you have to take in dy dx take the strip on the y axis what is the value of this y is my 3x value of the y is nothing but my 4x if you take in here the value of the y is my again 3x value of y is my 4 minus x so both the limits are same so it is from 3x to 4 minus x square outside is x so the minimum value of the y is my here this is my minus 4 max value is my here this is corresponding to 1 so minus 4 to plus 1 now you have to integrate this with respect to y firstly so what is that this is nothing but x is constant so x y plus 4 y over the limit 3x to 4 minus x square so once you will integrate you will get here now after solving you will get this now you can integrate them this is minus x4 by 4 and so on plus so substitute upper and lower limits 
you will get this as the cubic unit is the required mass so this is the way you can solve the volume of the solids in a simple manner make sure that you have to do the graph you have to shade the feasible area and then take the limits over this you will get the right answer i hope you can simply learn if you want to see some another videos related to these topics like limits continuity change the order of the integrations as well as the area by, by the double integration you can simply follow the playlist mathematics one channel name dr harish garks and hope you can simply like share and comment on this video best of luck students happy learning